Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to talk about a commonly encountered topic in the world of Android development, Parcelable. In Android, data transfer is quite common. We often come across situations where we need to send data from one activity or fragment to another, or pass a data model from one activity to another. In such data transfer operations, the data needs to be serialized and deserialized. This is where Parcelable comes into play. Parcelable is an interface used in the Android platform, which allows an object to be broken down into parts and then reassembled into another object. Parcelable can be thought of as an alternative to serializable, but it is more performant and optimized. Step 1. Setting up the project The first thing we need to do is set up our project in Android Studio. Open Android Studio and create a new project. Choose a suitable project name, package name, and select the minimum SDK version based on your target audience. Step 2. Designing the layout before creating the parcelable class. Let's start by designing the layout as shown in the video. We'll need to create a layout that includes three edit text objects for gathering user input. Additionally, we'll add a button to facilitate the transition between activities. Step. Step 3. Creating the Parcelable class Once the layout is ready, we can proceed to create the Parcelable class. This class will represent the data we want to transfer between components. We'll define the necessary properties, such as the fields to hold the values from the edit text objects. We'll also include a constructor and the required getter and setter methods. After defining the parcelable class, we'll implement the parcelable interface by adding the necessary methods. Write to parcel and create from parcel. These methods will handle the serialization and deserialization of our object. Now that our parcelable class is complete, we can move on to the next steps of the tutorial. Please note that it's essential to design the layout first before creating the parcelable class, in the upcoming steps, we'll delve into implementing the parcelable methods and using the parcelable class to transfer data between activities. Step. Step 4. Using parcelable in activities or fragments Now that we have our parcelable class ready, we can use it to transfer data between activities or fragments. Let's see how we can achieve this. In our code, we have defined edit text and button objects, namely ed first name, ed last name, ed age, and btn send. We retrieve references to these UI elements using the find view by ed method. Next, we set an on-click listener on the BTN send button. When the button is clicked, the on-click method is triggered. Inside this method, we retrieve the values entered by the user from the edit text objects, ed first name, ed last name, and ed age. Using these values, we create a new instance of our parcelable class, user, and pass the collected data as parameters to its constructor. To transfer this parcelable object to another activity, we create an intent by specifying the current activity, main activity, and the target activity, user activity. We add the parcelable object as an extra to the intent using the put extra method, with a key value pair where the key is user and the value is our parcelable object. Finally, we start the user activity by calling start activity intent comma which initiates the transition to the receiving activity, along with the parcelable data. In the receiving activity, we can retrieve the parcelable object from the intent by using the get parcelable extra method, passing the same key user. This allows us to access and utilize the transferred data within the receiving activity. That's how we use parcelable to transfer data between activities or fragments in our Android application. Once we have designed our user interface, let's take a look at the layout file. We have used the constraint layout as the root element and added three text views. Text view first name, text view last name, and text view age. These text views will display the corresponding data we receive through parcelable. With the help of constraints, we have positioned the text views on the screen, ensuring proper alignment. The layout underscore width and layout underscore height attributes are set to wrap underscore content to adjust the size based on the content. In just a few simple steps, we have created a visually appealing layout for our user activity. Now, let's move forward and handle the data received from the previous activity. In our code, we have defined text view objects, TV first name, TV last name, and TV age. We retrieve references to these text views using the find view by ed method. Next, we obtain the intent that started the user activity using the getIntent method. We then retrieve the parcelable object, user, from the intent using the getParcelableExtra method, specifying the key user. To display the data, we use the setText method on each text view, 
Setting the values from the user object. TV first name displays the first name, TV last name displays the last name, and TV age displays the age. With these simple steps, we have successfully retrieved the parcelable data and displayed it in our user activity. That concludes our tutorial on using parcelable for efficient data transfer. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Android development tutorials. Feel free to make any adjustments or modifications to the script as per your preference.in.